Well, how's life going, buddy? Yeah, pretty really good. Um, Christ. Yeah, amazing. Like, you wouldn't believe how great it's going. Uh, how are you coping with your, you know, big tech cracking down on you? Uh, I'm doing really well, actually, somehow. It's been the best couple months of my career so far, so. What, in terms of money or, like, what? Um, probably money, but I mean, like, in terms of, like, me talking to important political figures, my engagement has been going up. Uh, I've had a lot of personal development over the past couple months. Um, yeah, just a lot of stuff, yeah. Also, this about you not talking about drama and shit anymore. Um, I cut myself out of the, like, crazy activist trans community shit. I'm not fighting with lunatics on Twitter anymore, and I've cut myself away from kind of, like, the Vosh world. Um, because I, I think I'm actually, as weird as it is, I think I benefit them, all of them, more than they benefit me. I think they actually hurt me. So, yeah, I managed to cut myself out of that world completely, or at least for the past month I have, and I think it's probably benefited me. It lets me focus on things that are more worthwhile, and then I'm not, like, getting dragged into stuff that can potentially hurt me as much. Okay. Do you think you're gonna, gonna go back on that at some point, though? That possibility? Um, not unless something becomes, like, politically relevant or relevant in some way. But, like, when I look back on those people, like, they're just kind of, like, lesser humans. Like, there's no reason for me. Like, there's no reason for somebody like me to be interacting with somebody like Kethels. Like, I don't need to ever do that in my life, right? Like, I have nothing that I can gain from or learn from that person. They're not going to learn anything from me. Their communities are all toxic. Um, like, I should just be leaving these people in the dust and doing more important things. I, like, they're just, they're just bad people. <laughs> they're bad humans. <clears throat> what did you do it before? Um, because I like fighting with people. It's fun for me to do it. I, I just, it's so much fun. Like, I'll roll around in the dirt. We can call each other slurs, dox each other, like, go crazy harassment. Like, I just, that shit is so much fun for me. But that's, like, my history on the internet. I, just, I love that stuff so much. But I think I I can do better. So I've been trying to do better. Yeah, I mean, I think we come from a similar era of, like... Yeah. yeah I mean, you do it really well. I like, I, it's fun. I live vicariously through you sometimes, watching you, like, fucking go hard on people and shit, so... It's fun that I get to watch you do it. I don't like, let me, uh, I'll be clear, because um, I don't want to pull a, <laughs> I don't want to pull a Dylan Burns here. Um, I'm not like shitting on that world. I, it's still, that stuff is fun for me. But I have to think of, in terms of like my personal development, what I want to do politically, and then like where my liabilities are. There's like, there's not very much upside to me affiliating or associating with communities like Vosh or fighting people like Kethels. And there's a massive potential downside. And I'm making a choice when I engage in that content to not engage in other stuff. So it's just like so much risk for me and i think that there are other places that i should be like eyeing but i mean like it's fun obviously to do it i enjoy it and everything yeah <clears throat> seems like your content's gotten a shitload better since the twitch ban but did you end up losing a ton of money over it um it probably cost me like 10 to fifteen thousand a month but you know what are you gonna do man we'll probably make up for it by growing on youtube i think the big thing that's improved my content recently is escaping the twitch politics stuff because I think that all of those people were gaining more off of me than I was gaining off of them. And it was just a black hole of like intellectual death, career death, spiritual death, death, death. Just, you need to escape on Twitter too? My Twitter's been fine. I had to make fun of Kevels for the, <laughs> for the inflation shit. That's too funny. But um, no, for the most part over the past month, it's just been memes on Twitter. I think we've done a pretty good job. We enter more interesting spaces. Uh, maybe. Now I'm just trying to strengthen and um, grow out my um, my YouTube friends. How much worse off would your band be if you'd never made your website and only used Twitch chat? Oof, it'd be super bad. Catastrophic levels of bad. Fuck! Who is it? Hey! Hey, what up? Uh, well, I blew you out of the fucking water. I don't when, when it, on the fucking heading up thing. But honestly, you really are a bad driver. I want you to know that. Yeah. I know it like it hurts you because you like uh -huh. probably pride yourself. You're actually bad. Yeah. You're actually you're dangerous. Uh huh. Um, and you have no compassion for your passengers in the car. Okay, I'll take the no compassion for the passenger in my car. Sure. No, also dangerous. Oh yeah. Yeah, you drive like. I've driven across like 10 different countries. I've gone that international cross-country trips more than most people in this chat. I've driven 
to and from work commuting. I've never been in an accident in my entire fucking life. Across survivorship bias. Across where, where, how many a- different weather conditions, snow, rain, everything. Okay. Pull up, pull up the photo of the fucking airplane wings getting shot down. If you want to get right mad, now. that's fine, Dan. But. You've been in more are, accidents than I have. Wait, How many wait, cars wait. have you destroyed of yours by now? Didn't you destroy your little fucking Jeep shit too? Your no. other car got hit, rear-ended because you were driving wait, responsibly. That was, that like, was, Dan, yeah, you're off, just you're a, you're a terror behind the wheel. No, an actual terror. Very, you're okay, an actual terror. Off, none of these. Hold on. Uh huh. When it comes to the G wagon, okay, I admit I took my eyes off the road, but that doesn't make me a bad driver. I just got distracted. Anyone can get distracted. <laughs> That's okay? part of driving is not getting distracted you, are you and crash. I'm sorry. <laughs> have you never have you never been distracted driving before? And is gotten into an accident because of it? No. Well, hold on. I didn't ask if you got into an accident. I'm saying, have you ever gotten distracted driving? Have you ever taken your eyes off the fucking road? No, I'm a strategic driver. You're, I pull okay, over so to you're, text. So you're a liar. I've never crashed right. because I had to look at my phone, Dan. Okay, well, it's just a matter of circumstance Dan, that you you're did. On, it's pure luck that you're you on haven't cope. done it. You're on pure cope right now. No, I've, I've just never been heard unlucky. anybody. <laughs> I've literally just been unlucky. That's <laughs> unlucky? It. Unlucky. That's it. It's just unlucky. Okay. And you have been extraordinarily lucky because you're such a bad fucking driver, and you have everybody like just stays away from me. They just see me, and they're like, "Oh shit, I can't go near that dude." I don't. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know how it's possible. I'm supremely uncomfortable in your car uh-huh. at all times. Yeah, you scare your passengers. Uh huh. Um. Yeah. How many miles does your car have? How much mileage? Probably thirty-five thousand. Oh my god! After how many years? What, what? How many miles? Was it brand new? You bought it? Yep. Okay, so how many years? Probably three or four. Three or four years you've had the Focus ST, that's it? Focus RS, yes. Whatever. So ten, less than 10,000 miles a year. Uh-huh. Pathetic. Ask me how many miles I have on my scooter. Uh, yeah, that's right. More than that, and I got it last year. Okay. I'm JK. I'm capping. That would be a lot to fucking ride on a scooter. I feel like your ass would be... Super callous if you did that. Think so. Yeah. Are you lying about when you got it? No, I don't drive much. Most of those miles oh. probably came from driving from Nebraska to San Francisco and back again, and then um, uh, from Miami to LA. I thought didn't you get it in 2016? Maybe, but I wasn't driving much then either. I don't know when I got it. You, you've literally already lied to me once in this conversation. I don't know when I got it. I literally posted pictures on Twitter. You go look it up if you care that much. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me pull up your uh, Twitter account. Oh. oh. Somebody's got it somewhere. <laughs> Dan, what happened with your pathetic stream attempt yesterday? There wasn't the streaming opportunity, and uh, my shit was getting cut off because I didn't have enough subs. But now I have enough, so next time I can, I can do YouTube. Can I do YouTube, by the way? Do you know? What do you think? Just do it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Twitch is falling apart. No one cares. What was your favorite Twitter account that you had? Probably the um, Omni Destiny one, I think. Not Modal Sevens. Or Omni Destiny was one? fucking verified. Mm. Will these guys go away? Or are they just gonna keep terrorizing my fucking base? So, how much do you think? Elon's gonna have to pay Twitter. I don't know. He's I haven't kept so up with fucked. it, but I hope it's a lot. What a fucking idiot. He deserves to get absolutely fucking he, he, He's gonna get absolutely. I don't see there's like, it seems like Twitter could actually just force him to buy it. Yeah. Well, like, he's signing a like, hardcore contract. He'll probably get out of that, but they're gonna get. I, no, I would imagine they're gonna out. milk a lot of money out of him first for it, though. Billions, right? Maybe. That seems like a lot, but maybe. It, no, it has to be billions. Like, you don't understand. Like, because of how much he's he fucked, fucked the with, stock price and everything? He fucked the stock price, you mm-hmm. know? Fuck you. Man. That's like the most expensive shit post of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Unironically? <laughs> yeah. What a fucking idiot. So. I think that this uh, Trump shit, my guess is that they were just trying to get, um, like, they were bitching before that Trump had uh, secret documents at his house. Like, literally, this shit he bitched about. Yeah, but I can't, it can't be that. It's got to be something more severe than that. No, I think it can literally just be that. Uh, No shot. Because everybody knows 
that everybody's watching for this FBI raid. Well, that, that's why it's like a slam dunk. It's like, hey, listen, he had confidential docs at his house. We told him not to. He did it anyways. Yeah, but I think it, it needs to be. Them. I think it needs to be for something more important than that. Because if it ends up just being something kind of minor, it's this looks really, 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 really bad. Right? Like you literally are having the FBI like raiding, probably for the first time in history. I don't think. I think this is a, a, a historical event. For the Do first you think time Biden was involved? He can't be. Right? No, he shouldn't be. Absolutely not. This is going to be a, a call that starts and ends with Garland, would be my guess. There's no way that it... Biden should be have any involvement whatsoever in this. Hmm. You know, I'm realizing something. Do you think that uh, DeSantis is more dangerous than Trump? I don't know. I don't know what DeSantis's politics are like in. He's fall. Trump politics trump is an actual fascist i don't know if desantis is i'm not sure i don't know what desantis is respect for like rule of laws and stuff i think trump is really exceptional in his like blatant disregard oh for so, democratic you, so norms. to you okay yeah i'm so not looking at like danger. policy position i'm looking at like their their um respect for like democratic processes trump has none like trump would destroy the republic given the opportunity to he would just be done with everything yeah i suppose that that's bad You know the real challenge, if you think about this. What? If you're DeSantis, I was thinking about this before. I was like, oh, you know what? Just wait. You know, you don't want to run against Trump. It's all negatives, right? You're going to make the audience, you know, your fucking base hate you and mm -hmm. all this shit. Like, why do it? Just wait until next time, you mm -hmm. know, because then he won't run again and everything. And I realized, though, that it's not that simple. Oh, because, because the season... If Trump... Oh, God. So, so if Trump runs and wins, mm -hmm. okay, there's a well, here. We'll go through the options. Trump runs, Trump wins. Okay, you have four years of Trump, and then he can't have the incumbent advantage. So that means, and plus, it usually goes to the opposing party. So probably Democrats win next year, most likely. Okay, then he has four years of Democrats, and then most likely Democrats will win by uh, incumbent advantage. So he's like 12 years out if he gives it up right now, is my thought on that case. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I guess that's really it. Like the only way he would do it is if he thinks that Trump would run and lose and then biden would get four more years and then he would run in four years yeah and the season but, might just pass on that like things come and go people care and stop caring like he might just lose I, that opportunity for I, I feel like you have to go now as hard as it is to go against trump you basically have to somehow bully him mm -hmm. into you know into, into doing it, right but how do you bully a man that only cares about himself that's the issue there is no like political leverage or blackmail he's a very non-traditional political actor you know He's pretty insulated because he doesn't care about the Republican Party or what people think about him. Like, it's just his ego. So he's, like, kind of unassailable there, you know? Do you think, like, well, what do you do then? Like, if you're DeSantis, what do you think? I don't know. That's actually? the problem, right? You have, he's, a, he's like a destiny. You have no leverage over him. You're, like, fucked. So if you were DeSantis, how do you think you would play it? You're just Knowing fucked. what you know. I think you're just I know fucked. you're fucked, but do you run I don't, or I don't, do you not run? Um, you, you, you can't run because then your political career is over. Because if Trump runs, then you're, like destroying your political party, right? But, but, but I mean, you kind of have to run if you ever want to. I don't know, you probably just say, wow. I, I mean, DeSantis is powerful and he's young, young right? right? He, yeah, but the Republican story, Party is allegiant to Trump. There's gonna be like 50% of people plus who will vote for Trump literally no matter what the fuck. Even, oh, if, Trump runs, the even if Trump runs as an independent. Like he'd I be, think I saw know. some post that said the people want Trump Jr. to run. Ugh. Can you fucking believe that no, shit? No, they won't. They wouldn't. It would be like Jeb. He is nowhere near. As much as I hate Trump, Trump is at least a good speaker. He's very charismatic. Um, his son is a fucking loser. Like, like an actual fucking loser. I think his son being more public would make people hate Trump. That's how much of a loser his son is. No offense to... Well, I guess he can take it. Imagine... Ooh, I guess he probably wouldn't do this. I was going to say, if we could trade Biden for Jeb Bush right now... No. How would you feel about that? Not good. But, but I guess uh, the Jeb policies aren't so good. But man, to have Jeb, it's his time, honestly. Oh, yeah. He's waited a while. And he's put in the work. <laughs> okay, Dan. Wasn't he the governor of Florida for a while? Is that right? Jeb, he must have been the governor of something, I think. So, Michelle Obama, any shot that will happen? No. No. Black mind, and no. woman, no shot. I 
don't even know if she'd want to run actually either too. Well, I don't know. What other dynasty things do we got that we're missing here? Um, Jimmy Carter have a kid or Clinton's? Oh, Chelsea Clinton. There we go. Almost universally is disliked as uh, Hillary Clinton. Who do you think um, extreme like tankies would be more upset about? Buttigieg or who else do they hate a lot besides Buttigieg? Um, I don't know. Probably one of the billionaires, Bloomberg or Steyer, maybe. Oh yeah, Bloomberg. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if who knows what the next season of political candidates will look like on the Democratic end. You know, the one thing that um, I'm surprised didn't go f further, and I feel like it's going to be the future of winning presidential elections. You know what it was? Hmm. Fucking Andrew Yang and the shit he tried to pull. <laughs> I'll give you but all money. No, literally. Literally. That is it is going to be the future no, of winning elections. How, how do you defeat it? If I'm running against you and we're mostly the same, but I say I'm going to give you $1,000 a month, like, what the fuck, bro? I mean, it seems like it didn't work when he tried it, so... Well, he didn't go big enough. <laughs> yeah. I still think it would have been funny to see the... Um, I think we were joking during the debate where he's like, everybody right now, look under your seat. <laughs> I've given the first freedom dividend. There's $1,000 taped underneath the seat of every single American in here. That would have been a good-ass meme. Yeah. Um, yeah, Yang lost, but I think that was just... He didn't do it hard enough, you know? Uh, so what's, what's on your agenda today? Uh, I don't have anything big planned. Just doing this. Um, I don't know. Probably watch some videos. You know. Why? What about on, what's on Dan's agenda today? What's going on in Dan's world? Oh, maybe Warzone with my friend Dan. He said he was going to play with no, me at some point. No, that won't be today. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got a busy kitty cat day today. Soon. Okay. Hold your pogs and your abathers. Okay. 